you're just getting started on the drums, then welcome, you are in the right place. By the end of this lesson, you are going to learn how to properly set up your kit, play your first drum beat, your first fill, play with proper technique, and how to build all of these things up so that you can continue through your drumming journey feeling really awesome. So let's get started. But first we need to understand the full drum kit and the purpose of everything on here, starting with our bass drum. This is the biggest drum on the entire kit. You actually use your foot to hit it, and this offers the lowest bass of all the drums. Next up, we have your toms. Now there are two different types of toms. There are your rack toms, which are above the bass drum, and your floor toms, which rest on the floor. These drums are helpful for getting deeper sounds out of your drum beats, and they range from higher pitch, the smaller the drum is, to lower pitch the bigger the drum is. Next up, we have your snare drum, which is the main accent of every single beat. Think of it this way. Wherever you wanna clap your hands when you're listening to a song, you're generally lining up with the snare drum. Next up, we have the cymbals, which are the highest pitched things on your drum set. Starting off with the hi-hat. This is the only cymbal that can open and close, so it's good for playing quieter beats if you're at least closing the hi-hat. Then you have your crash cymbals. These are really good for playing really loud and transitioning from one beat to another. Finally, we have your ride cymbal, which is generally the biggest cymbal of all, and this is good for playing a little bit more open beats or jazz type beats. Now, when I'm setting up my kit, I start off with my seat first. With my seat height, I try to sit so that my knees are bent slightly above 90 degrees. Then I set my kick drum right in front of my dominant foot. I'd recommend playing with your heel up on the kick pedal. This is gonna make life a lot easier as you progress. Then you wanna position your snare right in between your legs and make sure that the rim is slightly above your thigh so that you have full access to the drum. Now when it comes to my rack tom or multiple toms, I try to have those a few inches above the snare. Then the floor tom is flat and equal height to my snare so that I can balance a stick in between the two very easily. Then you can place your hi-hat directly next to your snare wherever your weak foot falls naturally. I recommend opening your hi-hat a medium opening, so somewhere between two and two and a half inches. Then I position my crashes slightly above shoulder length. This feels just right, like it's not too high, it's not too low, and they're not hard for me to reach. And finally for my ride, I try to put that at an equal height to my toms so that I can hit on top of the cymbal and I can also crash into the cymbal. When you have your drum kit set up just right, it's gonna make playing drums feel so much better and therefore a lot less frustrating of an experience and a lot more fun. Now before we get into your first drum beat, we need to figure out how to properly hold your stick and play your kick pedal. This is an area that I see a lot of beginner drummers get wrong, so I wanna make sure that you get this built into your foundation right off the bat. So what you don't wanna do with your stick is just grip it like a hammer because guess what? There's not gonna be much mobility here. There's gonna be tension. You wanna be much more delicate with it and grip it with the first knuckle of your pointer finger and your thumb. This right here is your fulcrum. Then you simply set the rest of your fingers down, which allows the stick to move back and forth and have plenty of rebound. Now with your kick pedal, I think it's best to play with your heel up. This is gonna offer you the most mobility. So you're really hitting the pedal with the ball of your foot. This way you don't always have to use your entire leg to move the kick pedal. You can simply move the smaller muscles like your ankle muscles and get those quicker notes in as well. And trust me, this is going to help you build faster kicks in the future. But now, let's start learning your first drum beat. What the heck is a beat? Well, playing a drum beat does not have to be as complex as you think. It can simply be playing four notes on the bass drum that sounds like this. So congratulations, if you can play this, you can already play a drum beat and play along to a ton of songs. But the amazing thing about drumming is you can start to build on simple patterns like this. And that's what we are gonna do right here. So now with those four notes on the kick drum, we are going to add a snare on the second and the fourth kick drum note together. Okay, so now this is starting to sound even more like a beat. Now all we have to do is add in eight notes, we call these eighth notes, on the hi-hat. Now let's put this beat all together and hear what it sounds like. Okay. 
Now the problem is most people feel that learning to play the drums is almost impossible. And even worse, most drummers are quitting within just 90 days of buying a new drum set. I think this is wrong in that every single person has the ability to play drums. That's why I created my free course called the Master Drummer Roadmap, which literally gives you the roadmap to learn how to play the drums in a fun and easy way so you can take your drumming to the next level and make constant progress on the kit for years to come. If you want instant access to this free course, you can click right here on the screen and I will send it straight to your inbox. But now, let's learn your first drum fill. All right, so you're doing a great job so far. You now know how to properly set up your kit, you're familiar with all the drums, and you know how to play your first drum beat. Now, it's time to learn your first fill. But what the heck is a drum fill? A drum fill is generally a short improvisational transition between one beat to another or from one part of the song to the next part of the song. A very, very common drum fill sounds like this. Now let's break down how to play this drum fill. If you are right hand dominant, simply alternate your hands between right, left, right, left, repeated four times. But if you're left handed, you do the opposite. Left, right, left, right, repeated four times. So now we're just gonna move that around the kit, starting off with four notes on the snare drum, four notes on the rack tom, and eight notes on the floor tom. Right, left, right, left, times two. So now let's hear what this sounds like at a few different tempos. Now, like I said, this is a classic drum fill and a lot of lessons would stop here, but I think we can turn the difficulty knob slightly up and be a little bit more creative with this fill that I'm about to teach you. So let's focus on each section of the fill. The first four notes are going to be played right, left, right, kick. Then we're gonna hit the snare drum and the floor tom together two times. And then the second half of the fill, we are going back to that right, left, right, left, sticking pattern that we just learned. When we put it all together, it sounds like this. Okay, so now that you have your first beat and your first fill down, where the heck do you go from here? Well, let's go back to the beat that we learned earlier, and I'll show you how you can use it to play a multitude of different beats. Remember, playing drums is about building, so we can take this beat and simply start moving your dominant hand to different parts of the drum set, and guess what? This beat is going to start to transform. If you want, you could even take elements away and make it sound simpler. Now, if you really want to elevate this, you can add in the drum fill that you learned and move everything around the kit to really sound like a drum. So when did you start playing the drums? Did anyone just get a drum kit for the first time? Let me know in the comment section below. And I promise with setting up your kit, improving your technique, learning these beats and fills and moving it around the kit, your drumming will start to improve. And if you want me to guide you on your drumming journey, making things fun and easy, all while up leveling your drumming, well, you can click right up here to get my free course, The Master Drummer Roadmap. I will see you in The Master Drummer Roadmap. Thank you for watching this lesson. Stay true and I will see you behind the kit. Bye.